Hello everyone. How's it going? Didn't see you back there. All right, so we are. I love saying that, even though it makes no sense. Anyway, so we're on our way to appointment. We got a call. What time did the call come in? Like at 11 maybe? We got a call maybe like 11 a.m. 11, yeah. Um, of a postcard that he got. This guy must have got this postcard like a year ago. And it's a house in Miami Gardens, Florida. We're driving there now. And he basically said, hey man, yeah, but like my father passed away and I'm looking to sell. We started asking him some questions. He's like, man, are you gonna ask me a question? You're gonna come see the house and buy. I'm like, we're like, okay. We'll be there at one, 1.30 or something. We're a little late. You know, we're going on Cuban, Miami time. Um, so also the traffic doesn't help. We're on the express lane. I'm actually gonna call this guy and tell him we're late. You know, you gotta be nice to people. Hello. Hey, George. Yes. How's it going? It's Raul. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I'm a little bit late, but I'm on the way. I'm, I'm probably like seven minutes away. Okay, that's fine, because I have to leave from here and I gotta go off to another appointment, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have to get away, yeah. Okay, I'll be there. I'll be right there. Okay. Take care, man. Okay, bye. Well, hello. What up, guys? Five seconds. Cool. The crash, success, and happiness. So that that was him. I hate being late, but we're always late. That's a bad habit. It's a bad habit. We we definitely have a bad habit with that. No, and I had an interview, so I was interviewing some kid there. He started asking some questions at the end. I'm like, dude, I gotta go. I'm sorry. I left him with Lewis. <laughs> I left him with Lewis, and I wonder if he's still asking Lewis questions. Yeah, he was. He was still here asking questions. Well, you're gonna see now here um, some phone calls I have with this guy after the appointment. We didn't get the contract signed, and and the visual's gonna come later. What, what you guys are gonna see now, what you guys are seeing now, is the house. We're kind of walking through. Uh, basically, we're looking for what repairs need to be done. The floors, the roof. Um, the kitchen, bathroom, um, it had like a little addition so we're checking that part out and at the same time we're building rapport and talking to the guy um, to see how we can make something happen and um, yeah we have a couple calls and then you're going to see that we eventually get the deal so um, I'm excited for it. If you notice in the intro the guy called us, threw a postcard, we went out, we saw the house, I didn't get the deal right there which I messed up. I should have got that deal. I should have negotiated differently. Um, I wasn't sharp. I, I didn't do the right things. That's why you got to train, dog. That's why you got to train. Anyway, so we we went out there. I didn't get the deal right there. You can see a couple calls that he, he's like, I got to think about it. I have this. I have that. Or you know, we couldn't agree on price. And um, so so we couldn't get it. I'm like, damn. So kind of what I've learned in sales is go really negative. If you can see in the last call. Um, I think it was like three calls total. I called him like every other day or something. And the last call, I just told him, man, look, I've done all this for you, bro. I've, I've gone out to see your house. I've gone out, I've given you a contract. I've, I've walked the thing, you know, I, I gave you my price. Now I've gone up, you know, $7,000 and you're not giving me anything here, man. I don't even think you're serious in selling your house. You know, I think it's better. I, th I think we're not the right fit. And then that's when he's like, no, 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 let's do this at 165. So uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Then kind of what happened next is I set up a time to, uh, so I told him, okay, we're going to drop off the contract at your house. So I sent our runner that works here in the office to go drop off the contract at his house. I gave him a little bottle of wine because it was Halloween. So I gave him a little like Halloween bottle of wine. He called me the next day and he said, hey, can you explain the contract to me? So we spent like 10 minutes on the phone, basically going line by line on the contract. And uh, yeah, man, that, that's pretty much it. Then he's like, all right, cool, it's signed, come get it. So I sent my guy to come get it. We got it. We, you know, I gave it to my, to Amelia, our girl here to start working on title. And we did that and we literally sold it the next day for a $35,000 profit, son. Wait, is it 35? Hold on. It's 165, 75, I'm sorry, it's just $30,000 profit. Tree O, Tree O. So that was pretty cool, man. It just shows you that I wasn't the best negotiator in that appointment. I didn't, I didn't do the right steps, you know, as far as like I should have. But just, but just the persistence, being nice, um, but being persistent at the same time 
what do they call it? Uh, kindly tenacious or some shit like that. Being kindly tenacious and, and going for it, man. And then, you know, making the right moves and just being upfront and sincere with the guy, we're able to get the deal and make some money. So, um, yeah, dude, I hope you guys like it. I want to do some more of these, but this was a really, really good example and we got some good footage. Um, and yeah, man, I'll keep you posted, man. Keep hustling, keep hustling out there. Remember, if you guys like this, man, I'm gonna come out with more. Leave some comments, like it, you know, click the little bell, um, subscribe, definitely click this button here to subscribe, and um, you'll go see more. Peace.